All right, folks, we're here to talk about the inquiry for Power Rangers Dino Fury, episode 13, The Matchmaker. <laughs> uh, talk about this one, we definitely get thumbs down. It's like, yeah, it's like, we have to talk. It's like, yeah, this is, this is to make sure people understand. This is actually the talking about the back parts of the episodes, you know? So it's like the actual topics that needs to be talked at hand that is it really for children and all that stuff. But I'm pretty sure people already know and they're like, oh, this is boring. So we're good. Anyways, uh, about this episode, we decided to make the first ever officially mentioned <clears throat> lesbian. Yeah, the LGBTQ community ranger. Yeah, we decided to make Izzy that and it's like. Are you throwing everything on Izzy's shoulders? That's a good question. Are you throwing everything on Izzy's shoulders? What's up, fam? All the trendy stuff. We're vibing and stuff. It's like, so you're throwing Izzy into all of this. And it's like, hey, things are okay, I suppose. It's like, yeah, it's too bad. Izzy as a character can't really actually speak and be like, yeah, I don't want to be trendy like this. I want to be memorable, but I don't want to actually be like this. But of course, since we don't really have a voice on her, they can do whatever the hell they want, right? So, <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of weird where she never did fam anymore or, you know, it's like, yeah, she doesn't really come with anything that's like, oh, yep, they're still going with it. <laughs> uh. So, yeah, we have the first one, and, of course, we have issues like, for instance, people being like, oh, the first one, really, that was secret is the Lightspeed Rescue Yellow Ranger, Kelsey. And I'm like, you know, you should be happy that my 11-year-old self is not here or 10-year-old self is not here because it's like, dude, that was my first crush, my first actual crush. It's like, yeah, I knew there was something up with Kimberly, but the thing is, is that I'm not a Mr. Steal Your Girl. So since Kimberly and Tommy was together, there was really no one else to actually choose. Like every single person that was, was pretty good was chosen, technically, you know, except for Turbo. But in space, corrected that, didn't he? <laughs> space corrected it. <laughs> oh man, and it's like yeah, I guess Maya's all right, but I'm like, no, I actually liked Kendricks and Corone better. It's like, yeah, but Garone might be with Zane and Kendrick's might actually be with somebody else. And it's like, yeah, see, I'm not a Mr. Still Your Girl. At least when it comes to Ice Speed Rescue, well, yeah, you had the pink one. It was okay. But me, I just like the yellow one. There, there was just something about the yellow one that makes me say, she's awesome. She's awesome. She's, she's easy on the eyes. She believes in fitness. I like her. I really do. I like her. I actually would date a ranger. And then it's on, like, some years later, it's like, oh, yeah, she's a lesbian. And it's like, what the fuck, man? Really, what the fuck? It's like, yeah, it's like, 11-year-old, 10-year-old self would definitely be like, hey, dear, here you go. Here's a bat. This dude over there says that you can't date her. <laughs> yeah, I'll just let my 10-year-old self beat your damn car. Because it's like, yeah, you kind of deserve it. I mean, try and actually be like, yeah, there's no girl I would choose. It's like, of course, I would choose many girls. But it's like, the thing is that on... A ranger. I didn't pick a pink ranger that is typical. I actually picked yellow. And that was something that actually speaks volumes. Being like, oh, so you are okay with tomboys. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I actually am okay with that. It's like, I'm glad you're learning. I'm glad you're learning, young one. And then you come over here and say some shit. And it's like, yep, here's a bat. He said, these guys said that you can't date her because she's a certain way, and that means no. And then he's like, yep, he's going to get that bat and break your damn car. <laughs> All three of your cars, maybe even more. It's like, yeah, step in line. Comment down below whose car wants to get freaking damn riggedy wrecked. Like, yeah, at least the good news Operation Overdrive, Pink R Yellow Ranger is still okay. Thank goodness. Yeah, she's Kelsey Light. But good to go anyways <laughs> so anyways yeah besides lots of hinting and stuff that technically there are so many of them all around it's like what the fuck guys can we stop with this damn bullshit it's like it's cute and all but it's like come on now can we just stop these are freaking damn little children, all right? You should be happy you're on Nickelodeon. Because if you're on Disney doing this shit, apparently you'll get canceled. It's like, yeah, Owl House got canceled. 
they get to have season three, but that's freaking them it. And it's like, yeah, you see, <clears throat> Disney cares being like, yeah, um, we don't want to make freaking parents have to freaking explain shit. So we want things easy, you know, and that's why we don't want to do this shit. And it's like, thumbs up for me on that one. <laughs> you know, gotta be sucky where it's like, yep, then after Power Rangers ended, or heck, even on Netflix, it's like, yeah, it's after it ended, mom. I have a question. It's like, oh, shit. <coughs> yes, like, yeah. The question should happen when you're 10 freaking damn years old. Okay? <laughs> it's like, yeah, at least it gives the infection was toned down to a decent moment. You know, just a decent freaking moment. You know, just decent. We don't know if it's going to go any further than this, and I really hope it doesn't. <coughs> but I will have to say, though, you do have to say though that when it when it comes to this, it's like yeah, um, <laughs> the Rangers are damn stupid. <laughs> it's like I'm sorry, but the Rangers are freaking damn stupid. We gotta admit that the Rangers are freaking damn stupid. Why? Oh, because um, they know what Slyther does, and since they know what Slyther does, you would figure they're at the moment of where like you gotta be very careful because Slyther could be anyone, Slyther could sneak attack. It's like Slyther can actually be used in an unbelievable way. They already tried using him once the unbelievable way. And it's like, yeah. And it's like now they're not gonna do it. It's like, yeah, they should already have a detector. It's like Ollie should have already made a freaking detector or something. That'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna scan everyone. It's like, oh crap, there's Slyther right there. I see him in these glasses. And it's like, okay, get out of here. <laughs> it's like or it's like someone's gonna have to be like well two of them have to duck out it's like two of them have to duck out or three of them have to duck out turn into a ranger teleport right back there it's like okay slyther give it up it's like oh what the, oh what the hell rangers you already ruined my freaking idea and i didn't do anything yet how dare you <laughs> it's like yeah that's what technically this should have already happened i'm just saying it's like, oh, well, they wouldn't think of it. And it's like, but dude, they already covered what Slyther does. So it doesn't make sense that you have a freaking damn group outside where anyone can join, even freaking monsters. And it's like, I'm sorry to tell you that, but it's true. And then it gives you messed up where she actually blames Javi. It's like, no, no, we don't even go to lesbian points. Like, yeah, this lesbian crap, this freaking LGBT2 crap, I don't give a shit. This gets even worse where it's like, oh, you're blaming him for Adrian being abducted? Seriously, idiot? Seriously, idiot? It's like, I can put this damn together and be like, hey, dude. Freaking damn, um, Slyther would have figured out something some way, somehow. He just was biding his time. Think what happens if Javi didn't do it. Then that means as soon as he looks and see that, like, for instance, the end of the episode, you two holding hands and shit. Oh, Slyther knows what to attack now, bastard. He's gonna freaking duck freaking Fern. It's like, yeah, so if this episode didn't happen, Fern would have gotten abducted and you would have got fucked up. Even though chances are you would know what Fern says and crap, but it's like, yeah, but still they would have Fern. And then you have that same exact thing again, but this time it actually was the actual person that he was targeting. So it really gets messed up where it's like, no, 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 you can't freaking go over here and be like, oh, Javi, I'm so mad at you. You got Adrian. To no, it was you. It was you. OK, you had the freaking class outside. Anyone can freaking join. It's like I would understand if, you know, you did some interesting thing, like, oh, hey, how you doing? It's like, yeah, you didn't even say his name. It's like the person that actually turned out to be freaking Slyther, he do not have a freaking name. He just randomly showed up. You don't even have a name for him. Now, that's even worse where it's like, oh, so you didn't even check out the new people who actually joined up with you. It's like you should know everyone's name by now. Especially since it's been a week or something. It's like, yeah, you should have learned everyone's freaking damn name everyone's name it's like yeah so you learned everyone's name and then you're able to actually tell who's who <laughs> yeah because it's like 
new people shows up, it's like, okay, well, thanks for joining us. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? It's like, yeah. It says like, no, let's just get into it. And it's like, yeah, anyone can join. And that is a danger. I really hope you learned from this, but considering you said, obvious, your fault. That means that no. You're not going to learn from this, and this could happen again, but thank goodness the writers are not going to actually sacrifice this. Where it's like, oh, we're going to write another story that's just like this one. Where Slyther comes in and he tries another attempt. It's like, yeah, he can't show himself as the person that he chose, but he's able to shapeshift to anyone else. Yeah, see the problem here? Yeah, see the problem here? It's like, yeah, next time this happens, this won't be Javi's fault because you decide to actually have it outside where anyone can join and heck, you don't even know anyone's name. You only just know Adrian's name and Fern's name. No one else. And it's like, yeah, that, that, that's a problem. That's a freaking problem. That's a problem. Screw the LTBGQ freaking damn crap that you just did in this episode. This is the problem here. This is the problem. <laughs> No one ever actually, well, I still have to look, look through it all, but I'm pretty sure no one ever actually had a moment where it's like, oh yeah, I'm training outside with people and then, oh my gosh, a monster freaking attacked and oh my gosh, I'm so stupid because we're outside and a monster could attack at any moment. It's like, yeah, that's true about anyone, but the thing is that they're targeting you, man. They're targeting the freaking rangers, man. The rangers, okay? It's like, that's the even worse part. It's like, the rangers, man. <sighs> Woof. Let's end this before actually talking about the charter of where this lands in episode um, chart. Well, they actually gave us the blazing armor um, battle key. I guess that's how you say it. We actually get to have the cinematic of it becoming armor. Wow, the Pink Ranger didn't get crap. It's like, yeah, the Pink Ranger didn't get crap, but the Red Ranger gets to see it. So you actually get to see a little bit of horrible polish of where it's like, yeah, um, the Pink Ranger should have got something like that. But, well, sadly, stock footage wouldn't allow them to do it. So they just decided to be like, oh, yeah, she gets to have it first. And then all of a sudden, here is Zado with it. And it's like, yeah, Zado makes sense. Because even in the show, it's like, even the original version, I think Javi would wear it next. But there's no cinematic change for him. It's like, yeah, there's no real cinematic change for people, sadly. Except for the Red Ranger and a few others, but not the Pink Ranger and not the Green Ranger, sadly. All right, yeah, there we go. So that's about everything that really needs to be mentioned. So here we go. Let's talk about where it is in the chart. As for the landing, where did this episode actually land? Whoa, you would think that it's like, yeah, everybody, yeah, 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 LGBTQ community represent. Um, No, they didn't. Just like usual, no offense, but when it comes to things that actually says, oh, they're doing something nice, well, the ones who actually should be like, woohoo, yay, all right, thank you, they didn't show up, and it's actually in seventh place. Yeah, so this one actually underperformed so many other ones. Didn't make it all the way to the top. It's like, after the one, Super Hot Shot made it to number one. The highest one they ever actually had ratings on. This one didn't do too well, and I don't know why. <laughs> it's like, yes, I have no idea why, well, besides Netflix. But even so, it's like, this is still very, very odd. I don't get it. But either way, let's actually look at who did the story and stuff like that. So... We have Cat Lady and Owlboy. We also have Wolfman. And we have MT. And MT made the teleplay. Okay, well. Okay. <laughs> it's like, yes, I could easily. It's like, yeah, it looks like MT, even though I gave you so much credit. Now we're going to have to lower that credit down because it's like. All is I know it was rehashing, but all the Rangers should have known what Slither can do and should actually be a little bit on guard when it comes to people talking to him and stuff. You know, it's like you should be on guard on that, and they weren't on guard. 
And I think let's do one fun thing. It's like, I could do two fun things, but I'm just going to do one fun thing. I decided on here to actually do a poll. Let me just make sure that the poll is up to date. So I was wondering, who will actually blame who in this? <laughs> the fact of who was wrong when it comes to Adrian being abducted, Izzy or Javi? Out of the five votes, four actually said that Izzy's at fault. And one said is Javi, because, well, apparently they might actually want Fern to get abducted instead. My goodness, you monster. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, there we go. We'll see what happens on the next episode. Let's hope that actually does better. I mean, jeez, what is with this freaking roller coaster? It should just keep on going up and up and up. But pretty sure Netflix has involvements on this. Pretty sure they have involvement on this. Maybe.